this is part 35 closed form description global variable is in call form part open form new form so one by one we see this is a restriction mainly we want to today see in the closed form you cannot close a form that has called you suppose form a calling form b form b cannot close form a the first form you cannot close a form that is currently disabled as a result calling call form also but here we are not using call form i am using only open form new form two things only i am using i am using two different form one form is called supplier form another call is called product form supplier form is a calling form product form is a called form so now i'll show uh, how to work this is my supplier form that is form one here what are the trigger i return here is nothing but tls fuel editor i can go on show I am using global variable. Global variable, I am storing path. So, the what is advantage of this path is, suppose I am changing some location, each and every, suppose I use my uh, particular application, two or three, open form or call form or new form, each and every place is no need to go uh, change the path. Only one global variable, I can use this global variable entire. Suppose I change the route or URL, whatever it may be. Execute query, I give it. This is one trigger. It's over. This is two things I am using for global form, global variable declaration. And another one is nothing but my thing is, whenever next one I am using is, my form is called, uh, next form is called win button uh, press. This is my another uh, form. I am using win button press. You can see here, whenever I am using win button press, you can see the win button press, the PL is your form, new form. The new form I am calling another form name that is form B. It's called the product form. Next to one, what I am doing, the PLSQ letter is I am opening form product but closing form this form. That is first form. Opening another form, I am closing the old form. This is exit form. Here I am writing exit form. This is what my form. So I will show uh, each and every one how it is working. What is the actual root of each and every one I will show you. So now what we are doing is we want to run the form. That's what our idea. I'll run the form. File and run. Now you can see what are the things coming in the supplier form. So first of all, how the open form will work. And open form, what is the thing? Open form, what are the trigger we given? Opening form. Execute query I given in the new form instance. You can see the new form instance I given what? Execute query. That's why it is coming as a Query execution, you can see execute query global variable declare. That's what I given. The open form, what I given, the open form I given opening another form and closing this form. Whether it is closing, that is our idea. I want to open another form called product. I open the form. You can see I open the form and I will do it. I open this form. Actually, what I return code there, close the form also. I given the code. Open form and close the supplier form. You can see here open form and close the supplier form but actually whenever i am opening the form that this is calling form i am calling another form called product even though i open this form in the active window still it is what active only in the memory suppose how it is active how i know suppose i am exit this form exit form what is the meaning what is the difference between close form and exit form exit form will close the current form that's a main thing so i am do exit form you can see now which is available whichever is available in memory is lost call that's what we studied restriction you cannot close a form that has called you from a the called form you cannot able to close it is still in the memory that is what we you cannot able to close the form this one this is what we are using what the closing called form cannot be closed now we understand now i can use new form what is a new form will be here i am using this form now I call new form. The new form, what code I return, you can see in the new form. New form given when a form execute new form. The invoke another form. Oracle form exists the first form. This is the difference. What it will do is, if you give new form, it will exit. It will close the new form and release the memory. It won't keep like open form. And then load the new form. The second form completely replaces the first one. If changes are pending in the first form, Oracle fault will prompt the end user to save them before the new form loads. Now we see practically what is the difference between new form and new form. Now we can see. Now I am going. New form, what is a code? You can see new form code. Just writing new form. 
new composition. That's what I'm writing. Now I'll go running mode. Just I will write what? Suppose I'm running. This is new form is there. So if a new form is there, what is contained actually? New form, what it will do? It will close the old one. It keeps only one form in the memory. That's what you produce. So now currently which form is available? Product form. Suppose if I exit. Exit the form. No form is available. But by old case what? Again it comes because still in open form that is there available in the memory. This is the difference between open form and the new form here. Suppose I am calling. Now once again I want to show. I will go new form. I will show that form here. All the form. Again open supplier form. Supplier form I will exit. Which form I called now? From product form to supplier form I called. So I will exit here. See which is available. Product form. So this is the difference between open form and new form. If you use new form. If you use what? New form. It completely closes. But if you use open form. Still one form is there. It won't close. That's the difference. If you open the form. Even though it exists. Old is available. That is a difference we studied. So what is the difference here? Suppose we see new form. Suppose I will do some changes here. It's saying after the changes only we can do. Suppose instead of crash, I will do product amount, number of product amount. Third. So in the 2003 and then here I will do uh, something like 40 or 40 like that. I will call new form. You see, you want to save. Yes. I want to save change. Transaction available. Then only it is called. That you can see here. Here what we study. This is what we study here. The new form calls the original form from end user to save the before new form. Goes. That's what we did it now. This one. So it calls the end form. If I exit through your new form, everything will be. So this is the difference we studied in the real.